Hey folks, welcome back to the Beer Wrench Garage. Um, today we're drinking, I'm drinking, Michelob Ultra. It's what I've been drinking lately. Um, I kind of like it. You know, low calorie, light beer, kind of fits the bill for what I'm trying to do right now. But um, yeah, so today should be a very interesting video, at least for me, because I think we've solved the problem or at least diagnosed the issue with this Audi engine. So if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you like what you see, uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you don't, um, or if you do either way, leave comments, talk to me, and let me know what, uh, what you think uh, um, about the video, if you have suggestions or comments on what we cover. Anyway, so I uh, also wanted to make you uh, aware that I am doing a tool giveaway. I will be giving away this uh, set of gear wrench bolt biter uh, strip bolt sockets. They're very, very cool, uh, very useful tools. If you work in cars at all, you need to have a set of those. Um, actually, you need to have multiple sets of tools like that, but that is a great starter set for somebody who's a hobbyist mechanic. Uh, but I digress. I will leave a link either up there or down in the description to my uh, video for the um, bolt biter giveaway. Go ahead and watch it. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment, and at some point when we get to 100 viewers or 100 subscribers, I'm sorry, um, we'll do a uh, drawing for that or a uh, some kind of a um, selection for that. Um, yeah, so uh, if, if you haven't followed along with the series of videos we've been doing on this red car, we've been trying to diagnose a uh, low oil pressure issue with... Um, the engine that we pulled out of this car. The story is I rebuilt the engine, got everything spick and span, good to go, put in the engine, put the engine in the car, started the car, um, sounded perfect. It just felt perfect. Went down the driveway and I got a low oil pressure light. Put on a mechanical gauge, uh, confirmed low oil pressure. Long story short, ended up pulling the engine and we um, uh, decided to make videos to uh, diagnose what's going on. So. If you look at the my previous six or seven videos to this, it'll be the you'll see the steps as far as what we took to get where we got. Um, I think the last uh, um, video we go went ahead and, and pulled the crank, and uh, as I said, I think we have our culprit, and that culprit would be this little thing right here, which is an oil squirter. These oil squirters. Walk with me, I'll show you. These oil squirters um, screw in to the bottom of the, uh, the piston right there. And I believe their job is to squirt oil um, on the lower half of the piston and the lower half of the cylinder to cool the bottom of the piston, the skirt and connecting rod and whatnot. So the way these particular oil squirters work, and um, you know, I'm not an engineer, so please forgive me. Basically, it's a spring-loaded uh, banjo bolt with a uh, with a little BB in there. And apparently, when the oil full flows underneath through the block, pushes up that uh, uh, spring-loaded BB, and then uh, the port opens for the nozzle to. To squirt oil into the bottom of the cylinder. Now <clears throat> it's all fine and good except for the fact that on this one not just this one but on a series of them you can see that I don't know if you can kind of see this but there is no pressure here. You can hear that ball Look how easily I, I pushed that little uh, BB back there. There is no spring pressure there. Uh, there's a couple, three others here in the other cylinders. There's a couple of other ones in the other cylinders. This one, this one, uh, they're definitely bad. This one's probably okay. But um, I wasn't sure if that was the issue, but uh, I went ahead and got some new ones. Actually, I got one new one at the moment. I got three more coming in. But uh, here's a new one. Of course, these are only OEM available because there's no aftermarket uh, solutions for this. But here's a new one. And if you can tell, or if you can see, when I take the pick, 
there is a considerable amount of pressure that that uh, it takes to push that spring in. Whereas the ones that I pulled from the block, they just flop around. There is too many of those Michelob Ultras. Um, there is zero pressure to get this in there. So again, I'm not an engineer. Uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly why that causes the low oil pressure, but I, I figure if that spring has lost its tension, it kind of uh, uh, doesn't have that, uh, that pressure pushing against the flow of oil on the bottom of the block. And I guess that uh, allows a uh, uh, lower volume of oil pressure. Um, so definitely these things are, are not good. They are out of spec. Uh, like I said, the new ones have much tighter spring pressure. And then uh, I did do some research and check around the forums and Facebook and the Audi groups. And uh, my, my friend uh, Jay uh, over in both of them uh, also had a similar problem. And he confirmed that when he replaced his oil squirters, uh, he, he his oil pressure shot back up to above uh, OEM spec. So... I do believe that uh, we have made a diagnosis on this engine. Um, I believe two, if not three, of the oil squirters were well outside of spec. That caused the low oil pressure. And then the contamination that we had talked about before from the uh, improper gasket material used didn't do any favors. Um, and so all that combined led us to get bearings like this this is a main you can see that some um uh debris got in there and scored that up pretty bad again there's no mileage on these this should be brand new and instead of a mirror-like finish we have a uh, uh, scratch it same thing with the um this is a connecting rod bearing you can see the debris got in there so again i do believe the main culprit are the uh oil squirters as a uh, as a precaution, I am going to replace the oil pump as well. I do believe the oil pump is fine. I did take it apart and found some metal debris in there. Everything else looked fine, but I do have what I, uh, knock on wood, believe is a good oil pump. And I will replace uh, the oil pump with uh, a different one as we put the engine together. If you look here, You'll see my collection of oil pumps. I think I got one or two more laying around. So this one, you see how this has that different uh, pickup tube? That's the updated pickup tube. That's the one came out of the car. Um, and then the three other ones are what I believe to be known good pumps. That one back there with the flat little pickup tube, that's out of a Passat. Uh, and in every other way, it's identical, except uh, the Passat oil pan is a little bit different, so the pickup tube is a bit different. Um, but we'll put the best feeling cleanest one back into this engine. So there is that. And the last thing I wanted to uh, show you guys real quick before we leave or sign out is, bear with me and I'll show you, give me a second. Okay, so for those of you guys that got on me and said, uh, you know, I didn't do things the right way, didn't check clearances. Just want you to know, I went ahead and took the crank to um, our friends uh, over at Precision Crankshaft, uh, one of the local machine shops here who did a phenomenal job. Uh, so this crank is uh, all polished and in spec, um, is ready to get, get back in that car. As we're going to put fresh bearings um, and everything should Knock on wood, should work good. But uh, if you're in the Kansas City area at all and you're looking for a machine shop, um, look up my friend Frank at uh, Precision Crankshaft. He is a, uh, a really cool guy and they do phenomenal work. So with that being said, folks, we've uh, accomplished our, our main objective for this phase of the, the Red Audi. I believe we have identified the primary and possibly secondary cause of the oil pressure. I believe we are now ready to assemble the motor with the right parts and the uh, uh, re replace the right parts to be able to get um, a proper functioning motor. So um, 
that phase of this build is complete. I don't know if I will go ahead and do individual videos for uh, rebuilding the 2.0 um, or putting it back together. But if you want to see that, comment on it um, and I'll think about doing a video series on that. There's a lot, a few of them in YouTube already, but if you want to see it again, um, I'll think about doing it. So uh, please, again, go ahead and click uh, subscribe or, or click the like button and uh, let me know what you think. Leave the comments. Be, feel free to leave comments, good or bad. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'm, I'm really glad that, that I think we uh, we answered that oil pressure question. Have a great night, a great day, and uh, we'll see you soon.